One of the important concepts uh, used in Babylon 5 uh, CCG is uh, the uh, individual tensions between uh, different factions in, uh, or races in the game. Um, there are four base races or factions in the game. That means the humans, the Minbari, Narns and Centauri. Um, another set, which is was called the uh, Great War, uh, introduced the League of Non-Aligned Words. And there is also a faction of the Psycorp. So there are more factions than those four in the game. Um, individual, uh, individual factions or races have uh, different uh, tensions between them. Means that uh, those, uh, those different factions have different uh, uh, yeah, levels of understanding towards each other. Um, the, these are preset on the start of the game and you can change them uh, by playing different cards which uh, increase or uh, lower tensions uh, between individual races. Means um, the human, uh, you also have this, this little piece of paper comes with the starter packs so you don't have to buy it uh, and uh, you will receive it when you, when you buy the starter pack to the game. Um, as you can see, um, the the, the levels of the tensions can go between 1 and 5. Um, 1 is a peace-like state of, uh, of, the, of this uh, tension between those two, and the 5 is a pre-war or war-like state. Um, it's not war, because uh, a war can only begin when the card says so, so um, 5 doesn't mean that there is automatically a war between uh, two different uh, races or two different factions. Um, it, but is a frequent uh, requirement for cards which stipulate the day that war has to begin. So, um, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, on this sheet itself, you don't have to remember which, uh, uh, which uh, uh, combination of uh, factions begins which, uh, at which level. There is a slight, uh, slight um, change of color on the, it's a red, uh, contour of the of the of the number on the on the sheet. So um, Midbarian humans uh, begin their tension at three, representing that there was this Midbari uh, Earth Midbari war, and there are still problems <laughs> which are plaguing those uh, relationships. Um, human versus non begin at two. Most of them begin at two, and a human was a Centauri begin at one, signalizing that uh, the human Centauri. Uh, relations are very good, uh, which kind of mirrors um, the reality in, in the series that uh, min, uh, that uh, Centauri were the first alien race which contacted or got in contact with uh, the Earthers, and by that there is a long-term uh, good standing between those two race, uh, races. Um, Minbari human also at three, um, Minbari nine and two and Minbari Centauri 2. Um, the only one which is still missing is the Narn Centauri, uh, which, is, which begin the game at 4. Uh, this represents uh, a very strained relationship between, uh, Minbar, uh, between the Narns and the Centauri, meaning that the conflict of the Centauri occupation of Narn regime uh, space is just a couple of years over, a couple of decades over, and the, they are still very very bad uh, feelings on both sides towards the other race. Um, under those, um, you still have one little other um, other column or other row, which is the uh, unrest row. Uh, this is this rep the unrest represents um, rather the tensions within the faction itself uh, towards each other. Uh, means that human humans against or uh, if there is a peace-like or a stability uh, within the faction, or if there is almost like a civil war within within the faction itself, so um, those can also go from one to five. And there are cards which um, which uh, change unrest, either rise it or lower it, and um, there are cards which kind of uh, consequently um, play with the unrest. So if you if your unrest uh, is uh, high. There is some uh, repercussions due to that. Your characters can be more uh, 
uh, increase in value, uh, which means that it's hard, harder than to get into play and stuff like that. Um, on the Galactic's politics uh, sheet, you also will see three uh, big uh, blocks or big areas, which is the Babylon 5 area, the Vorlon and the Shadow uh, Influence area. Um, this areas uh, stipulate how much uh, influence these three different entities in the Galactic politics do have. Um, as with any other faction, uh, they begin the game with uh, four influence, means uh, that Babylon, uh, the Babylon 5, let's, let's place a blue die here, um, Babylon 5 has four influence, Shadows have four, and Volons have also four. Um, their influence can increase only due cards, which stipulate so. So uh, you can play a Babylon 5 strategy, which increases Babylon 5 influence, and by that uh, gain some uh, advantage. You can play a Volon strategy, which increases Volon influence, if you have card which require a higher Volon influence, and can also play on those. The same with the shadow influence.